Hey, what's up? I'm going to demonstrate how to properly eat the Ed Curry Experience chocolate bar. Now, when this says heat level danger, they're not kidding. Because, yeah, this is really hot. So, first off, do not take it on an empty stomach. And when you chew on it, you just got to remain cool. So, yeah, when you eat this, just kind of think mellow from Death Note and just eat it one piece at a time. So yeah, when I challenge this with a friend, uh, which probably is part of the reason is why it's half gone. But yeah, I challenged a piece uh, with a friend and he ate part of the piece. I ate a whole block and um, he started reacting to it uh, by the heat in the mouth and I was thinking it was nothing. But soon enough, it actually went, yeah, within about 20 minutes time or so, all that heat went right down to my digestive tract. And that's not something to get used to. So yeah, just eat it piece by piece. Now, the one chip challenge and the julep chip challenge are really easy to chew. Chocolate isn't. So, if you put the whole thing in your mouth and try to eat, chew the whole thing, you might risk swallowing like 100 milligrams of capsaicin. And, yeah, all that's going to be compressed and once it hits the digestive tract or whatever it may be, the stomach, intestines, whatever it may be, but yeah, that can really hurt, even if you have it on a full stomach. So yeah, when I challenged this with a friend, he um, both spit it out and did not finish the whole thing, the whole bar that is. So yeah, and I probably want to also say I had a whole quarter pound of Reese's chocolate and yeah, even a quarter pound was much. So I wouldn't eat a whole half a pound of chocolate if I wanted to after that experience. But yeah, you just got to chew it like you normally would. Make sure most of the heat stays in your mouth. Maybe even your throat. Because I know this is just only a thought. Maybe it's just a liberal thought. Um, however you might call it. But your mouth is a lot more active than anywhere in your digestive tract. These are mostly uh, passive within two hours because, yeah, you're just talking, you're eating, doing a lot of kinds of things in your mouth, but some, but yeah, if you think about it, your mouth is more idle than uh, your stomach and intestines and all that, but yeah, when you start eating this piece by piece, you might start feeling a little bit of discomfort, but at least it's not the whole thing. But if I might give you advice, if it does happen to hit hard there, you're just going to have to get yourself in a real comfortable position, probably even drink some water, and then let your sweat glands activate. And yeah, that worked for me both those times. But, so yeah, when I challenged my friend, uh, that took away two blocks. The other two blocks uh, that were off there was because 
the first time I tried, I mean, the second time I tried that, um, I tried it with a full stomach, and I still felt abdominal pain. But then when I started eating it piece by piece, that's when it wasn't as bad. Hmm. Don't want to leave any piece behind. But now I just kind of imagine what would happen if I start eating it piece by piece with a whole half pound of bar. Would my mouth start to get numb? Because when I did the Buffalo Wild Wings Challenge, I thought it would be really scary after my first chicken wing. Then after the second one, I started feeling nothing. And the only thing I had to worry about was getting all those wings down my throat. So yeah, I got a little caramel stuck in my teeth. <coughs> ah. And part of it went down the wrong pipe, as you might have told, or as you could possibly tell. So now I have three pieces left. So I'll save them for later. And, yeah, this might take a while. Sometimes, to pass the time, you might watch a good old movie. <laughs> so, yeah, the thing about space balls, it just, they can get a lot of, uh, a way of with a lot of references and still pass with a PG rating, much unlike Little Darlings. And, yeah, if I might also say a comment about uh, doing yourself a heat challenge. You shouldn't be challenging your, yourself with heat alone like you would not uh, drink alone. Because, you know how Doug Lyon and Ed Curry did the dual chip challenge? And how I challenged the same friend uh, with it? Yeah, you can consider us living proof that you shouldn't be challenging alone because there might be at least one person that um, can just pass the time by, I don't know. <laughs> I won't say much of that, but you might get the picture and why you shouldn't challenge yourself alone. But now, I don't really know what the Ed Curry experience is made of, but uh, with the, uh, hold on, yeah, that little X there that is emphasized might indicate that it has pepper X, but uh, what it says is special pepper blend, and that's it. And yeah, of course, there's some cinnamon on there. And this, on the other hand, is mild and contains cayenne. Now, I wonder what this one would taste like as soon as I finish the Ed Curry experience within, like, two to four days. Hopefully, I finish it uh, by the next day if I decide to have another piece later. Now, how long have I been... Okay, so it looks like I've been enduring this for about seven minutes now. And right now I don't feel any abdominal pain. Now what am I thinking? Because I thought I started off with uh, 120 minutes and now I'm seeing that I have an hour and 53 um, minutes left. So, yeah, if I got the timing off, I apologize. But, yeah. Um, most of them say you should not be drinking water. Uh, 
I don't have it nearby. Oh well. At least I don't feel any abdominal pain as of yet. But... What was I going to say? So, when you get really hot in your mouth, or even in your gut, there's really nothing you can do about it, as Ed Curry once pointed out. But, yeah, what I uh, believe is uh, when I started feeling abdominal pain, I started to drink some water, and my sweat glands started to activate, and, yeah, it cooled it off. Well... And what else should I talk about? Because right now I am feeling nothing in my abdominal pain and somehow my mouth is cooling off. So I wonder if I got used to that after three blocks. And... So yeah, I'm doing that with my foot, because that's basically what I do uh, personally, with or without any heat. So yeah, I can stop that whenever I want. So yeah, if you like, in fact, I would recommend if you haven't had um, any chocolate with pepper in it, I would recommend you try that. So yeah, just kind of melt some chocolate, add some red pepper to it, some cayenne, or yeah, just any spicy peppers onto chocolate and see what you think. And if you like it, you can challenge yourself to some of that and still enjoy it. Is the heat gone? What happened to me? Why am I not feeling any abdominal pain? And I think this might also have something to do with it. If you wait about a half hour um, after you eat, some of the food might settle in your stomach, and therefore you might um, not experience some abdominal pain. I think that also might have something to do with it. Yeah, I remember... Oh, speaking of one chip challenge... That is what the Ed Curry experience reminded me of, uh, with the level of spice. So, yeah, when I took the one chip challenge, I was wondering why, uh, after 20 minutes, I still have to wait a whole hour. And when I started, uh, feeling something in my gut, that's when I realized, uh, what it was for. And after taking a second, uh, one chip challenge unrecorded, I decided to take that cheat theory to the test by taking it after I eat dinner. So yeah, I just um, took the one chip challenge in front of other people and see how well I played. And yeah, I can usually keep a co poker face whether I have heat going on right here or Sometimes even uh, heat in my stomach. So yeah, when I asked uh, if they noticed that I was uh, reacting to um, stomach pain, uh, they didn't notice it. So yeah, I guess I could talk a little bit like Hogarth from The Iron Giants. Just like, I'm not used to this stuff. I, I just learned to keep a poker face. Like, or I should I say... I am not used to this kind of stuff. I just know not to react. And there was probably another reference there that I wanted to say about uh, the 
Ed Curry experience. What was it? What was it? What was it? Sorry, I don't remember. Oh, yes. So, whenever I let Heat get right down to here, I really feel like Mermaid Man when he ate an ice cream bomb. And, yeah, whenever I feel this heat on there, I just kind of think it gets through me every time from the What Chip Challenge and the Death Nut Challenge. Uh, but, yeah, anything that is overly hot and uh, hits it hard there, yeah, that's just not something to get used to. Okay. Now, how long has it been? Hmm. Huh. Okay, so it's about 15 minutes now.